It's a surprise upload video day. Woo! All right, guys, so I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale, and this is a bonus upload video. Um, this is going to be an unboxing of the Thread Up DIY Designer Rescue Box. And I also want to um, give a little bit of an announcement that this Friday's purse sale video will be uploaded earlier. It will be an, a 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, upload because Friday is my birthday and I would like to have the evening off. So um, I'm going to still do the video, um, but we're just going to launch it at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard instead of 4 p.m. So um, I will also put that, you know, in the description box and I will let, be letting you guys know in tomorrow's video as well. And I'll be posting it on my Facebook and my Instagram. I did create an Instagram group. It is It's Me Kristen D. Um, so look that up on Instagram. I will put all the inf that information down in the description box. Also, I am Another Chance Resale on Facebook and It's Me Kristen D on um, Instagram. Okay, so let's get into the the box if you guys see anything you like um i'm probably going to be sending everything into the real real um which is an online designer and luxury um consignment website um but if there's anything that you see and if i if i give a price on it feel free to email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com and i will keep a sold list if anything does sell uh down in the comment section okay also, I recorded another video wearing the same shirt for next week. So if you notice the same shirt, that is why I'm recording two videos today. So let's get into it. This design, this designer box is from Swanee, Georgia. And I am still giving Thread Up a break for the um, name brand handba handbag boxes. They've done me dirty. A couple times in a row now they're not responding to my emails so I'm going to give them probably about a month or so break maybe they'll get their zhuzh in line and maybe have some decent stuff in their name brand handbag boxes anyway this one is the designer DIY seven items for $140 purchased on May 30th okay All right, this one's like stuck. Ugh. All right, woo, a bag right on top. Let me show you guys first looks. Ugh. I don't know what kind of bag that is, but it looks really worn. All right, let's see what it is. Uh, a bad Glinishka, that's not designer. I mean, it is, but it, it shouldn't be in a designer box like this. It's, I don't really think it deserves to be put into this box. Um, I mean, the inside's really nice, but the outside is pretty. I mean, whoever carried this loved this bag to bits. Look at it. I mean, it is all kinds of discolored. Um, the leather itself is in good condition. It's just super, I don't know if it's dirty or what, but it is definitely not in resellable condition. You can see how dirty that is and all marked up. Um, the hardware is okay. Um, like I said, the in the interior is actually really clean. Look at that. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. Um, there's just some like glue staining maybe like right here. I don't know if it can be cleaned up. I'm really not sure. But you have the top handle, uh, shoulder handle, and then you have the little top. It has gold and silver tone hardware. I mean, it's a nice bag, but it is, it's beat. Um, 
I don't even know if I can clean this to be honest. So if anyone's interested, I don't know, we'll do 20 bucks. That's kind of a rough start. All right. Okay. We have a clothing item. I don't particularly like clothing, but like I said, I've been just sending everything into thread. I mean, to to the real real. This is a brand called C. I'm not exactly familiar with that. Um, it is a size six. This is actually a super cute dress. Let me get it situated with like the ruffle sleeve. And then this is stretchy. And then you have this really cute print. It is a maxi dress. I mean, this is super cute. This is really cute. I'm gonna have to look it over to see if there's anything wrong with it because like I said, it's a DIY box. There will be things wrong with it. Um, there's a little pull right there, but I don't really think that that's a big deal. I'll have to look it over after the video is done and I'm doing the editing to see um, if there's anything actually wrong with it. So, but this is cute. It's a really great time of the year for it. There's no pockets. Um, so yeah, I'll see. And if there's anything wrong with it, I will put it on the screen for you, but it'll probably just go. To, um, the real, real. All right. We have a Ralph Lauren shirt. It is black label, which I think is the higher, the highest, um, line. It's a size medium. It's like a nude color, like a creamy nude. It is short sleeves. Uh, it looks okay. Oh, there's a hole in the armpit. So that's probably gonna be a bust. Um, unless this shirt is worth like a hundred bucks, it's probably not worth fixing. Let's see how big it is exactly. It's actually not even, it's not even that bad. So I don't think I can personally sew that, but I don't know. I'll have to see. I don't know. All right. Is this a pair of jeans? Oh, it's shorts? Shorts. Okay cute this, this this is the front these are these are cute that might be a little stain that I can get out what what's the brand this is not a very good reselling brand they don't really go for that much um, do we have a size these look very small I don't even see a size Yeah, I don't see a size. I don't see any kind of other tag. Um, let me see. I mean, the zipper and everything works. Now, these are high-waisted, so this will be a waist measurement. 12 inches around the waist. Well, 12 inches across the waist, sorry. 12 inches across the waist. But they are really cute. I can probably sell these on my own on Poshmark and ebay because it is this perfect time of, of year for it so i mean not horrible but not really the best um if anyone is interested i'll put a price on the screen if anyone's interested in those all right so that was one two three four and then there's three pairs of shoes so hopefully we can get some redeeming pairs of shoes nicholas kirkwood i've never heard of this brand these look pretty nice though. These are a maroon, like a red maroon leather, pebble leather loafer. That's the brand. Um, they are pretty banged up in the back. And the toes. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Uh, what size are they? Oh, they're 38. Made in Italy, 
Yeah, I mean, look at the look at the heel. I mean, somebody really. Let me see. Thirty eight would be. Um, probably a seven because I'm an eight and these are kind of these are kind of tight. Um, so I mean, they're not horrible. Um, definitely can't send them into the real real. But if I clean them up, I might still be able to get like twenty bucks out of them depending on how much they are, they retail for. Like I said, I've never heard of this brand. Um, so I will put some information on the screen for you. Not doing too good, guys. All right, next up we have Marc Jacobs. These are cute. These are a little uh, uh, white suede and pink leather, little kitten heel. Uh, they have like the little floofy on the front here. They are size eight and a half. These, uh, this this one looks like it's in good condition. The heel looks okay. Um, definitely needs to just be cleaned up a little bit. And, mm -hmm, yep, figures. So we got a big chunk out of the, out of the leather there. Um, I mean, they're fine otherwise. So, again, the real real is not going to take it like that. So I can probably sell them online. These are Marc Jacobs at least and not Marc by Marc Jacobs. So really the biggest and only real problem is that scratch right there. I would say this is about an inch and a half heel. Uh, I will clean them up. 20 bucks. Definitely not making my money back on this one. So... That's great. All right, last pair of shoes are Stuart Weitzman. I like Stuart Weitzman. I think they're great quality shoes, but the re the resale value on used ones are not very great. And these are missing rhinestones all over the front. So um, I can, you know, go to like a AC Moore or Michaels and find replacement ones, which is probably going to be pretty inexpensive. Uh, let's look at the rest of the shoe. They are a size seven and a half. They definitely were worn a lot. The gold, you know, is, is worn there. This heel looks really good at least. It has a really cute like cutout. Um, the peep toe. I do have rhinestones that are a similar color to this. I wonder if they would work. I wonder if they're the same color, but I can always just uh, take a photo and then go to a craft store because other, I mean, they're really not in bad shape otherwise. And this heel is actually really nice too. So these are a brown satin, um, seven and a half. I mean, really great condition other than they're missing a bunch of the rhinestones. So I'll definitely have to work on these, but I think that these will definitely sell um, as long as I can get some rhinestones and fix them up, which, like I said, shouldn't be a problem. So size seven and a half, I'm definitely going to have to work on these. I probably still won't be able to uh, send these into the real real because they do not really like a lot of wear on the footbed. So I'll probably have to sell these on my own. So not, I mean, not the greatest box, not very happy. So we had the Stuart Weitzman, the Marc Jacobs, the Nicholas Kirkwood, right? Nicholas, yeah. Um, Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, teeny tiny shorts. The uh, Ralph Lauren black, black label with the tiny hole in the armpit, size medium. Uh, this one hopefully will be in good condition and will make me a lot of the money back. And this one, who the hell knows, it's a pretty disappointing purse. It could have been really nice, but like I said, not exactly thrilled with this box. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Um, give me a thumbs up, please. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you in the next one.